One Woman, Two Tribes and a Memoir that Captured a Nation. Ruth Fitzmaurice's I Found My Tribe was published last summer to critical acclaim. It tells the story of her marriage to a, a film director, a Simon, starting their family, then getting a diagnosis of his motor neuron disease on the same day they discovered they were expecting their third baby. One of the, the difficulties as you're writing the book, though, is that you, you're... Um, writing about Simon and the family and so on and yeah. they will uh, and do get to read it yeah that's difficult because some of the you know you're utterly honest about how difficult it can be and how wonderful it can be yeah. but you're sharing all of this with if you like the the most yeah I like to think though it, it's not it's not that kind of you know dirty laundry kind of honest it, for me it's more sort of that sense of, of, of you know what the hell are we doing here kind of honest if, if, if you're not kind of prepared to to deconstruct things and, and figure out you know what, what what is this all about what is life about well, what, what's the point you know so 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 um, I tried to tell that argument to my husband <laughs> what, what did um, as I was petrified and chewing my nails down yeah. as he as he read it and going, no, really, really, this is good. This is uh, he he got about halfway through and he had to stop reading. He got freaked out uh, and uh, and that was fine. And then he he pushed himself, I think, to read the rest just because he probably wanted to know what I was saying about him. And by the end, uh, he he just said to me, I I get it now. I, I you know you did good. Because uh, it's all that range of feelings, and I, I think you know, in any relationship, in any marriage, in life, that that that's that that's what life is. It's it's you know, trying to explain that thing. Look, just because you feel something in a moment, I'm feeling it right then. It doesn't mean it's an absolute yeah. that I always feel that way. Or maybe that's just the female brain. But men should listen to that.